Hi, so you have clicked on this video because you want to learn how to create carousel type posts on LinkedIn. And that's what I'm going to be teaching you today. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make carousel type posts on LinkedIn. And we're going to be discussing this in three parts. And I'm going to explain what those three parts are right now. In this video, you will learn what a carousel type post is in case you're not quite familiar with that type of post. You'll also learn why these posts are important on LinkedIn and I'll teach you how to create this type of posts. So what is a carousel type post? You're going to see an example pop up here. You mostly see these types of posts on Instagram. So when you see someone post on Instagram, like a, a multiple slideshow type of thing, that's a carousel type post. So it's something that you can click on and then you can swipe left to view different slides. And you can create that type of post on LinkedIn as well. So why is it important to create a carousel type post on LinkedIn? There's just one reason, engagement. These types of posts will keep somebody engaging with your LinkedIn post longer and therefore LinkedIn will see your post as valuable enough to continue pushing it to people within your network. Statistics show that your post, for, when it's posted for the first time on LinkedIn, is only seen by about 10% of people in your network. So having these carousel type posts where they get more engagement because people are clicking them to swipe through, that gives you more of an opportunity to get your post to reach more people within your network. And that's what you want because the more eyes on it, the more likely it is that people will like it, share it, comment on it, those types of things. So what I'm going to be teaching you now is how to create a carousel type post on LinkedIn. It's a simple process. All right, let's say that I were to post this example that I've been showing you throughout the video. So I created this carousel type post using Canva. All I did was choose a social media template and I created different pages for the template. So these are the pages in the template. Again, I used Canva to create this. So these are all of the pages. And let's say now that I want to publish this on LinkedIn as a carousel type post. Okay, let's say that you have created the design in Canva and now you want to get it in a format that you can upload it to LinkedIn. So you're going to go to this area where it says download. Then where it says file type, you're going to select PDF print high quality multi-page document. You could select PDF standard, but I prefer to use PDF print so that I get the highest quality possible. So click PDF print, then click download. And it's going to download all 10 pages of this document. I'm on LinkedIn and I'm on the desktop version of LinkedIn, which is what I would recommend for posting something like this. And I'll show you why in a minute, but you can also use the mobile version or the app to do it as well. So where it says start a post, you're going to click that area. Then you're going to click this little icon here that looks like a page flipping over. You're uploading your carousel as a PDF document or a PDF file. So that's why it will say share a document when you click on that little page flip icon. You're going to click choose file here now. Then you're going to look for the file on your desktop. This is the file on my desktop or wherever you have saved it. I don't know where you saved it on your system. Click the file, then you click choose for upload. Then why I have suggested that you upload the file on your desktop version is because you want to give it a title. And I think it's easier to write the document title if you're using the desktop version. So I want to write how to write attention grabbing LinkedIn posts. Then you would click done and it will be uploaded. Well, it's not it wouldn't be uploaded. You click done and then you will be given the option now of writing what you want for the caption. And that's how you would upload a carousel type file on LinkedIn. 
You can also, if, even if you haven't created the document on Canva, you can upload whatever PDF file you have. It could be a digital magazine, whatever PDF file you have, you can upload it directly to LinkedIn using this same strategy. So just to, just to recap, you would go to where it says start a post, click that area. Then you'll go to where the page flip icon is and you choose a file. You could have the file in Dropbox, OneDrive or Google Drive as well. But if you have it on your desktop, you would click choose file and then you would choose the file wherever it is. It doesn't have to be something you made on Canva. And once you click it and you upload it, then you write your caption and you post it. So that's it.